are doing free code camp JavaScript algos and data structures basic JavaScript to challenge 86 of 113 so today we are going to access object properties with values um, if you haven't seen the last two where we ac access object properties with dot notation and bracket notation I would go check those out but basically in this one what we're going to be doing is the same thing as bracket notation except plugging in variables so you can read this if you're you know going through the uh, free code camp yourself but basically what it's saying is we you know we ha we can have objects so ex in this example we have uh, dogs and there's names which are the keys and then the values right so what we can do is we can have another variable so in this case my dog and we can give it you know it's a string we have basically just have another variable that is a string and we can access um, properties within another object by passing it that variable as the key that we're going to look up. So we're going, you know, we have the my dog variable, which is hunter, and then we're assigning a new variable, my breed, to the dog's object at key my dog, which the, uh, my dog is equal to hunter. So we're really accessing the dog's object at the value key value hunter. So dog's object key value hunter and it will be assigned to Doberman so my breed is dog objects my dog which is dog objects hunter which is Doberman so that's the same thing uh, as saying my breed equals Doberman because in a roundabout way that's just how we code how we use the computer's logic to uh, pass in different data when we have different cases um, we're saying my breed is equal to Doberman because my breed is equal to dog's object, which is equal uh, at the value hunter, because my dog is hunter. So I hope that made sense. You can kind of watch it again, but as you can see, my breed is equal to dogs, which is this dog's, at the key my dog, which is here, and that's hunter. So it accesses hunter and assigns it to the value of that key, which is Doberman. So in this example, all we're going to do is set the player number to the variable 16 uh, and then use the variable to look up a player's name and assign it to player. Okay, so we're going to change player number to 16. And then we are going to access the value at 16. So we have 16 here, that's Montana, and we have player number, which is 16. And then we're going to assign player to that Montana. So. We assign player to test object so now we have it assigned to this whole object and we just want to access the value at 16 so instead of saying 16 in cases where we'd be using different types of data or different pieces of data and doing this multiple times we can just use the variable player number so that's plugging in the 16 in player number which is accessing test accessing te test object <laughs> at the key 16 and returning that value, assigning it to player, okay? So if we con console.log player, we should see Montana, because that is the key of 16, at the value at the key of 16. And then if we console log number, player number, it is in fact 16. And then if we console log this entire string, we can see we are getting Montana. So that's all we have to do for this one. Hope that made sense. As I said, if you don't know about bracket notation, uh, I would look in the last video that I made on bracket notation, but really all we're doing is plugging in a variable instead of directly putting the number 16 in here. Thanks, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.